This video will cover how to cite sources properly using APA style. You'll learn about the three specific aspects for citing sources, in-text citations in the body of your paper, how to use quotes properly, and how to create reference entries on a references page. I will also briefly review citation helpers so you don't have to enter all of the information required by hand. There is a guide for using APA style on the library website. Go to library.edua.edu, scroll down to the bottom under Research, and click Citing Sources. These are the major styles used at Edgewood College. Click on the one for APA style. When you cite sources in your papers, you need to do two things. First, in the body of your paper, you need to add an in-text citation. This tells the reader that you are writing about someone else's thoughts or ideas, and it also lets them know there will be a corresponding entry for that item on your references page. Instructions for adding in-text citations are here. Basically, you need to include the author's last name and the year published. You can do that in one of two ways, depending if you use the author's name in the sentence or not. We'll talk about quotes in a minute, but if you are citing a direct quote or a specific example like a chart or graph, you must also include the page number, paragraph, or section where it can be found. If you scroll down, you'll see there are also rules for different numbers of authors, group authors, sources without authors, and sources that do not have dates. There are also specific rules for direct quotations. Let's look at the quotations page of this guide. You treat short quotations just like other in-text citations, but you must include the page number where the quote can be found. If you are citing a source that does not have page numbers, include a heading or section name or paragraph number. This page also has other quotation rules to follow, including what to do when you are using quotations that are longer than 40 words. The references page of this guide has all of the basic rules for writing a references page. For example, the page should have the word references centered at the top, all entries should be in alphabetical order, the page should be double spaced with each entry having a hanging indent, which means the first line of each entry is even with the left margin, but all other lines are indented. This page has examples for citing different types of resources. Click on the links at the top or scroll down to see those examples. Since you'll be citing journal articles most often, we'll focus on those. The basic format for journal articles is here, with all the elements needed, and there are examples below. There are also specific rules regarding DOIs and if the article came from a library database or not. The rest of this page has examples for other types of sources you might be using. Sources like magazines and newspapers, books and ebooks, chapters or parts of books and ebooks, audiovisual items, and web pages. At this point, you might be thinking, this is really complicated, and you would be right. However, there are many tools out there that can help you create reference page entries, including the library databases. Here's an article I found in OneSearch that I want to use in my paper. To get the citation entry for this article, I'll click Cite under the Tools menu on the right. Scroll down to the citation style you need, and then you can copy the citation and paste it into your references page. You can also export the citation into software like RefWorks, which the library subscribes to. RefWorks can help you manage all of your citations and create a references page for your paper. More information about RefWorks can be found by clicking the link at the bottom of the library website. It's important to note that these citation tools are not perfect. You should always check your references to make sure they are correct. For example, in this citation, the author's last names are in all capital letters. You would need to edit those so only the first letter of their last names are capitalized. 
That's a quick review on how to cite sources using APA style. If you have any questions about citing sources, just ask us. There are links to Ask a Librarian on almost all of our web pages.